Yeah, yeah, that's so good. Um, yeah, yeah, first record I selected is from Elena Patton. Uh, the first record that I really fell in love with and I was like, uh, I need to know more and explore more. And let's say this was my, my first crush. Then the second one is an Italian record from Lucio Battisti, Nostro Carangelo. Very interesting cover as well. A couple of tracks that are really tribal and uh, good to play on uh, on a set as well, if you want some dancing. The record is a Brazilian record from Marito Moreira. There's a track in particular, Peace and Dance. It's a crazy percussions track that always works when I play, and it's always good fun. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, record ever, and I have my personal copy, obviously. And this is from the crates, very controversial character very good album from the beginning to the end is uh, it's a journey inner space by Sven Liebeck it's a soundtrack of a documentary about the underwater world the title is very deep as the music it's kind of a really underwater music that I like a lot I honestly got more into records since I moved to London because of some contacts that I made, some friends that I, I made here. And I feel London is really a good place for that because it's really wide a musical environment you can find from music from all over the world, people from all over the world, and open-mindedness about music. That's what I really feel that in this city is pretty special. Three years ago I started a show at the Native Radio. It was quite random the way I bumped into Miro and into the guys from the Native Radio. I love the atmosphere there. So it's been uh, three years now that I have my, my show there once a month. Miro had this idea of starting a little cafe here. At the same time, me and a friend, good friend from, from my own town, Alex, who we were um, just daydreaming about one day opening a record shop while doing other stuff related with music. We had these uh, trips around the Europe where we were like just uh, meeting record collectors, visiting record shops. We've been Paris, Amsterdam, uh, Berlin. At the end of, the, of this summer of traveling around, we were thinking about finding a place where to share our collection that we, that we had from different parts of the world. So I came here, checked this basement that uh, at the time was completely empty. Just some tables around that was using it for a business meeting. We decided to expand a bit the collection, buying records from friends. So we met a lot of people around records, music world and uh, DJs and uh, collectors and private sellers that decided to open their collection to us, to give a part of their collection to us, to share the music. In terms of, of genres, there's a bit of everything, from jazz to techno, because we, we, collect, we started collecting just, uh, obviously, the music that we love, and we both play around, like DJ around sometimes. Where we were supposed to move was hidden, because it was the second floor of this bike shop. And you couldn't really see uh, from outside that it was a record shop, so it was kind of hidden. And then uh, we found this place, and the name fits perfectly, because 
it's not anymore upstairs, it's in the basement, but still when you go into the cafe, you can hear the music because the music is connected. So a lot of people just uh, have a coffee or a tea in the cafe and wonder what, where the music is coming from. And then they see some stairs to go down. They found this and they, they have a good surprise. The best way to find out about us is and to know more is to come and visit and just uh, show your face here and uh, bring some records as well to play or to share or to sell or to trade or everyone's welcome. So this is the first record that I bought today. Um, it's a Lonely Girl from Yunko Yagami. Uh, it's from 1986. Very good city pop record. And the next one is from Epo. This is 1982. Another Yunko Yagami record. Uh, I want to make a hit. It's another city pop record. And this one is from 1983. Next up is from Anri. Uh, I have her two previous record I think it's called Timely um, this one is from 1984 another one from Andre this is from 1986 Cassiopeia 1982 a great um, fusion jazz band and this album is called 4x4 1979 Rie Nakahara Killing Me Tatsura Yamashita and Yasuara Shimizu worked in this album. Masayoshi Takanaka, 1977, a great album. So that's it for today. I would like to say thank you to the guys at Hidden Sounds. Great people, great record shop. I would definitely recommend you to check it out. See you next time.